Hey, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, a quick take of our broadcast. Friends, we have some very serious things that have been happening over the last 24 hours here. Uh, at least uh, the information is coming out in the last 24 hours. Uh, Turkey sends another batch of tanks uh, ready to join Euphrates Shields military operations in Syria near, of course, al -Bab. And that's a major concern to me because I've been watching Slowly but surely, President Erdogan building up more and more forces inside of Syria. Again, Turkey lands forces together with F uh, FSA, which is the Free Syrian Army, somewhere at uh, Abad al Razak Mountains west of Al Bab uh, with the Leopard uh, 284 and Cobra 2. Now, all these forces are being gathered up around Aleppo. Russia, the Syrian Army, just freeing the citizens of Syria that have been held captive there by the tens of thousands for better, for some part of well over a year, close to two years there, held as hostages. But remember, Erdogan said that he had came to Syria to topple Bashar al-Assad. Now, is President Putin really taking this seriously? I know that he did a phone call and supposedly Erdogan is back down a little bit, but from the looks of it, Turkey is getting seriously ready to wage a war with the Syrian government. And that's a major concern to me. And not only that, we see Israel got involved right after the report that we did about the airstrike that was done on the Turkish military around El Bab there, uh, the Euphrates Shield that killed seven Turkish soldiers and nine Free Syrian Army soldiers, something that never went, uh, never went public on mainstream media. And so I'm really wondering what is really going on here inside of Turkey. And is Turkey getting ready to, to launch an offensive? Israel seemingly to kind of back the idea that it was actually the Syrian army that bombed the Turkish government there inside of Syria. Later on the following day on Wednesday last week actually did a bombing raid, raid on early in the morning on the Syrian Air Force uh, uh, airport there, which is actually adjacent to the uh, Damascus regular public airport uh, on the on the edge of Damascus near President Bashar al-Assad's palace there. So why was Israel getting involved in that? Where, is it because they have a new uh, found uh, relationship with the Turkish government? Not really sure. Only just saying it's kind of odd that one case happens and the other case seems to follow. All right, now let's look at some other things here. Something going on here in Europe right next to me, and that is... We see that there are photos that show U.S. troops and armored vehicles, including the M1128 mobile gun system in Germany near the Czech Republic, according to Already Happened. This happened, of course, he posted this 13 hours ago. Now, I would, I would gander to say, looking at the frost on the trees here, that this photo is about three days old. I say that because I live not far from the Czech, uh, from the German uh, border either. I live in the mountains, and three days ago we had heavy frost on the trees. Now they look like they're a little bit higher up in the elevation than what we are here, but nonetheless, that's when we had the frost on the trees. So I would say the photo is about three days old from what I can see there. It's getting serious, guys. Very serious. Russia also media released a very rare piece of Russian special forces fighting inside of Syria. Something I was not even aware of that the that special forces were actually there. We knew the U.S. special forces were fighting inside of Syria. So it's just a matter of time some, for, before somebody makes a wrong move and we end up with a major war on our hands. Guys, I don't know what's going to happen. It's very concerning to me. But anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Uh, and also this here is a Liberation Party of Aleppo there. Uh, actually it says, after four years of occupation by moderate rebels, they are celebrating their freedom, their liberty from uh, these terrorists that have been backed by the West. Uh, and I hate to say that. It's the Obama administration that has made this horrible terrorist regime here that has been fighting inside of Syria. And of course now Obama has passed new legislation that is only going to arm even more of these groups here. So even though they have all this excitement of being free, I think I'm afraid it's only going to be short-lived. And that's very sad to, to be hearing this. Now one more thing here before we uh, slip out of here. Right after this video here, you will be seeing a, a video that we aired on Denoon Institute. That is our YouTube channel special channel. I'll put a link in the in this section here about it. Uh, we weren't going to air it here on Israeli News Live. We aired a little tiny clip the other day. 
Phenomenal response on the Noon Institute. We have about 2,700 subscribers there. I encourage you to go there. About 60,000 people that are here on Israeli News Live subscribe because of prophetic insights that we do here. And, but that is moving to the Noon Institute, our YouTube channel there. And I want to get you over there because you don't want to miss it. But this message about the microchipping and what it is going to be used for actually to suppress your DNA. And I'm talking about suppress your DNA because at the time when God is coming to liberate his people on this earth, this is when they're going to bring out the microchip. It's almost as if Satan knows that this is the hour of liberation. And that's what a microchip is all about. It's to suppress the DNA so that you do not wake up. They want to keep the true children of God suppressed and in darkness and in a deep sleep like Adam was in a deep sleep. Of course, he was in a deep sleep in order to bring forth his bride. All right. In our day, as Yeshua prophesied, their eyes are they, 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 their, their eyes are heavy and they slumber. Speaking about Israel, but Israel is about to wake up, and when Israel is about to wake up, the enemy comes in with a microchip system and all kinds of chemtrails and everything else, and internet using Wi-Fi, radiation, anything they can to suppress our DNA so that we do not wake up to who we really are. You're going to find out some amazing things that the Father God revealed to me that I want to share with you here. It will air tonight on Israeli News Live. I'm Stephen Benoom, and you're watching, of course, Israeli News Live. Shalom.